Welcome to Dallas Park and Recreation Up and Coming. I'm your host, Monica Tete. And I'm your host, Sloan Anderson. Here's what's happening in Dallas Park and Recreation during the month of September. The Labor Day weekend is coming up, but there is an actual history behind Labor Day. The celebration behind Labor Day roots back to the labor movement and the continuous efforts to improve working conditions in America. In observance of this holiday, our Dallas Park and Recreation Administrative Offices, maintenance facilities, and recreation centers will be closed on September 4th. Our normal business hours of operation will resume the following day. Dallas Golden Games are back. The Dallas Golden Games is an Olympic style fitness and leisure competition that is hosted each year for seniors over the age of 50 who enjoy playing sports. For this year, participating seniors will compete in nine different sports. The best part is there is no previous experience required and it is inclusive of all ability. Registration to participate has closed, but we encourage you to come support your community by cheering them on. Ceremony will be held on September 5th at Beckley Saner Recreation Center starting at 10 a.m. The competition will run from September 8th through September 29th. For more information about the Dallas Golden Games or to view the competition schedule, please visit our website. Do you love your Dallas parks? In May 2024, Dallas residents will consider a $1 billion capital bond program. The program is expected to support key infrastructure projects such as improvement of our streets, transportation systems, parks, trails, critical facilities, housing, and much more. If you missed the previous meetings held in the month of August, do not worry. During the month of September, there will be two meetings held on the 12th and the 16th for the community to share their input on the program. You will have the ability to speak in person or virtually. It is critical for Dallas residents to become informed and contribute their ideas to assist the city council in reviewing and selecting the projects that will better our neighborhoods. Parks for Pollinators BioBlitz. A BioBlitz is a community effort for citizens to contribute to science by recording the highest number of species within a designated location and time period. The National Recreation and Park Association, NRPA, is encouraging parks across the nation to participate in their Parks for Pollinators National BioBlitz, taking place throughout the month of September. Communities will work together to get a snapshot of biodiversity found in the ecosystem, including plants, insects, and animals, through an app called iNaturalist. The goal is to obtain detailed data to advance the health of our local pollinators, a crucial species to all of our ecosystems. The Dallas Park and Recreation Department will be hosting their Community Bio Blitz on September 9th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at William Blair Jr. Park. If you are interested in participating, please visit inaturalist.org for more information. The importance of Hispanic Heritage Month. During Hispanic Heritage Month, we recognize the importance of the American Latino community and celebrate their strong influence in our nation. The celebration begins September 15th and ends on October 15th. We encourage you to celebrate with us by visiting the Dallas Museum of Art for a special exhibition, joining the Dallas Arboretum Hispanic Heritage Celebration and exploring art murals in the local streets of Dallas. You can also stay tuned for other upcoming events at dallasparks.org. Looking for fun outdoor activities? Well, September has just arrived and along with it comes a chilly breeze marking the end of summer. I know we are all looking forward to activities to enjoy the cooler weather and we have plenty of options to choose from. 
If you have furry friends, we encourage you to check out one of our off-leash dog parks, such as the recently renamed Barry and Nino Bark Park, located in the heart of Deep Ellum. They are the perfect spots for you to unwind with your pet and build new connections with the community. For those who are looking for a new leisure activity, there are full service tennis centers offered to the public at no cost. Perfect for professional instruction as well as recreational fun. You can also check out our other park locations with at least one tennis court on site on our website. Maybe you don't have a pet or a passion for sports, then we recommend you visit our trails. The City of Dallas has a spectacular trail system with over 177 miles of beautiful and diverse hike and bike trails. Spending time outdoors with friends and family just got easier with the trail options available, ranging from linear trails, nature trails, loop trails, neighborhood trails, and even off-road bicycle trails. Grand opening of Harwood Park. The opening day of Harwood Park, located at 408 South Harwood Street, Dallas, Texas, 75201, will take place on September 23rd at 9 a.m. We are thrilled to add Harwood Park to our park system and cannot wait for the community to enjoy it. If you're interested in job opportunities, I have something you may be interested in. Want a career in park? and recreation. Dallas Park and Recreation is hiring recreation center assistants for the out of school time programs. Have fun interacting with youth and positively influencing their lives. Starting pay is $18.36 per hour. Volunteer opportunities are also available. Do you want to make a difference in your community? The Volunteer Services Division of the Dallas Park and Recreation Department is always looking for volunteers to help enhance our community services. We are looking for volunteers of all backgrounds and experiences to volunteer with us. We have a wide range of opportunities ranging from sports, special events, mentoring, youth, therapeutic recreation, senior activities, and much more. If you are interested in volunteering with us, visit our website today. A ceremonial check presentation. The City of Dallas is celebrating the reception of a substantial $6.4 million grant from Rebuilding American Infrastructure with Sustainability and Equity, RAISE, for the Five Mile Creek Greenbelt Trail Project. The grant will fund the planning, design, and engineering phases of the project. We hope you will join our celebration taking place at Glendale Park, 1515 East Ledbetter, on September 5th, starting at 1030 a.m. Ribbon cuttings and ceremonies. Ribbon cutting at Flagpole Hill Park. We are excited to welcome the installation of an ADA accessible swing at Flagpole Hill Park, located at 8015 Durand Circle. Thanks to the generous donation from the Lake Highlands Junior Women's League. We hope you will be able to join us for this memorable community event taking place on September 12th at 10 a.m. Soccer and flag football registration is here. Are you thinking about registering your child in a new sport for the fall? Dallas Park and Recreation offers NFL flag football and soccer for different age divisions at select recreation centers. You can register in person when you visit your local recreation center. For more information about recreation centers that offer NFL flag football and soccer, head to DallasParks.org. Public meetings. Dallas Park and Recreation Board Meeting. The Dallas Park and Recreation Board meets September 7th and September 21st. Those who want to address the Park Board should register on our website by noon the Wednesday before the meeting. Head to DallasCityHall.com to watch Park Board Meetings on Dallas Channel 96. Here's something you may be interested in, the 2024 Bond Program Committee Meeting. The Community Bond Task Force Committee is currently gathering community input to review and select projects for the 2024 bond program. Dallas residents are encouraged to join the upcoming meetings and get your voice heard. 
Here are highlights and upcoming events from Senior Moments. Hello and welcome to Senior Moments. I'm Jeff Carnavale from the Dallas Park and Recreation Senior Program Division. September's a busy and fun month for us, full of activities, special events, and the celebration of Senior Center Month. We invite you to join us for some of our festivities. Many of our locations will be hosting Grandparents' Day parties, as well as gatherings to honor 16 de Septiembre, or Mexican Independence Day. Visit our Facebook page for more information and for specific locations. This month also brings Fall Prevention Week beginning on Monday the 18th. This is an excellent opportunity to assess your home for trip hazards, check that your footwear is safe, make sure you're staying up with your exercise program, and speak with your healthcare provider about your medications. Each of these components are important factors to reduce fall risk. We're also excited to bring you the Golden Games for athletes 50 years and older, with events running from September 8th to the 30th. Sporting events will include pickleball, track and field, tennis, golf, and much more. For more information, visit your local recreation center between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m., follow us on Facebook at Dallas Parks Senior Programs, or call 214-671-1602 for more information. Thank you for joining me for Senior Moments. Now back to you, Monica. Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us on all social media platforms at Dallas Park Rec. And as always, Dallas Park and Recreation Department brings, brings communities, communities together. together. We'll see you next month.